Hey, uh, this is Dave uh, from ASVAB Tutoring and in this video, I'll go over uh, the math skills in your SIFT exam. So as you know, um, uh, there are seven area in SIFT exam. The math is one of them, right? Math is the most important part in the SIFT exam. So let's, let's go over some of the things you have to learn in order to get a high score on the math section in your SIFT test. So, um, so basically in math section, there are two parts, um, arithmetic reasoning and also some uh, math knowledge stuff. So arithmetic reasoning, basically um, your uh, basic math skill on addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percent, um, all these steps. And um, math knowledge is basic algebra. So in, in, in math skill set, you will get the mixer of these two types of problems. So let's go over what are the things you have to learn. Um, so in order to cover all the um, materials, all the different areas you need to study in your um, math section. Uh, so we split our um, lesson plan in that way. So we have total um, six lessons for um, math skill as you could see in our website. So this, there are six of them. So lesson one through lesson four uh, arithmetic reasoning and last two our uh, math knowledge. So as you can see here is lesson five, but we have another one added recently. Um, so basically in lesson one, you have to learn um, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division for all three areas. Um, for integers, that means the whole numbers, and then fraction and um, the decimal. So as you can see here, uh, there are some problems here. We listed in here, what is the reciprocal of uh, 0 0.20 and five and two third, right? So in order to do this problem, you have to know the basic math operation. So as you could see here, um, I'm showing you the view answer and the explanation. So reciprocal means flip over the given number. So reciprocal of 0 0.20 equal to one over 20. And if you divide it, you get five. The next one is five and one third. And if you make this mixed number into improper fraction, so that gives you 17 over three. And if you flip it over, so that gives you three over 17. So that is the correct answer. So let's go to the next problem. So next problem is kind of um, uh, same thing that you have to know how to do like uh, division of fractions or multiplication of fractions. So um, so you could see here, you have to multiply that, right? So uh, ME needed uh, 15 and five, eight liters of gas to travel a trip. Her car consumes one liter for driving 15 miles. How many miles does her trip be? So in order to do that problem, you need to know how to multiply fraction. Okay, so and you could see on the right side um, is like lined up with all the basic math operation you need to know and all the example you have. And now let's go to the lesson two. In lesson two, we have basically the um, percent interest rate ratio unit price prime number, square numbers, and uh, scientific notation. So as you can see here, this is the problem. So the fish, uh, the, the price of a salmon at a fish market is 540 per pound. This is 150% each um, at a supermarket, right? How would be um, the per uh, in the in the supermarket or the cost in the supermarket so um in order to do this problem so what you need to know you need to know how to do deal with the percent so you could see the um answer the 150 percent you need to make this person into decimal and then multiply okay so if you do like all those problem one by one and then you could take a practice test so the practice test kind of tells you um if you need to uh, know some of the areas okay so you, you need to do that so the next thing you need to learn, um, average, mean, median, mode, uh, divisible, uh, age calculation, time calculation, uh, prime factorizing and probability. In lesson three, so we have like that type of problem we set it up. So um, you could see here this problem and look, we will answer the probability, right? So um, we, we have some video on the uh, YouTube. You could watch the video if you need to know uh, basic thing. And if you um, download our application, you, you'll have this thing. Okay, everything is very organized. So you could study this area. The lesson four, you need to know um, areas, some geometry. You need to know how to find the area of a circle, um, semicircle, rectangle, 
uh, perimeter, circumference, and different types of pro I mean triangles, um, the volumes, uh, angle, and then um, um, addition, subtraction of inch, foot, gallon, all that stuff, and uh, factorials. Okay, so this is the all this thing you need to know. So in lesson four, we have that type of problem. We set it up here. Um, you could see here if a two pound of all nut pack cost 38 uh, 40 what is the cost per six pack so this is the unit price type of problem so sometimes what we did actually also we take some of the problem from the previous lesson to make sure that you did not forget the whatever you learned from the previous lesson so we did that so you could study one by one and then you could take practice test that is the sweet part so you know exactly what you need to know uh, in order to go to the next lesson right in lesson five and six basically um the basic algebra so you need to know this basic algebra um to get some of the problem correct so we, we you need to learn how to do um uh, multiplication of variables same thing uh, for um, multiplication uh, factoring simplify algebraic expression plug values solve algebraic expression um, inequalities exponent absolute value middle factoring um, that means the find the factors uh, inequalities a system of linear equation so let me just go over a couple of problem here so you could see uh, this problem is solve for x so everything you see here in the right side and the lesson plan is reflected in our lesson right so um, that is very organized way um, so you could see here I answer an explanation how to solve this type of problem you can have like two equation two unknown so you have to solve this uh, process of elimination uh, you could do that so you could see all of those uh, studies so 30 question for each lesson um, this one you need to know how to find the uh, slope of a line so you know if you want to find the slope of a line the equation to find the slope of a line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right so you could put that um, values and solve for uh, the slope okay so you could study one by one um, you could see here and then you could take practice test okay so whenever you are when you are done with all the uh, lesson uh, lesson one through lesson four I mean the all the basic math operation then you could take um, final practice test so we have 10 final practice tests that is the sweetest part so none of the book in market have like that many practice tests okay and you could see each final practice test has at least um, 40 50 question and many of the question in here came before in the actual test because we have too many people um, uh, in our program took the test um, and they gave us some feedback what are the question they saw in the actual test and it tr we try to put that similar type of question in our practice test so if you practice um, all these 10 final practice test most likely you know every single problem you will see in the actual test so you said in final practice test one um, you could see like um, the whole thing uh, all this mix operation some addition subtraction multiplication division also for uh, percent um, then finding the area all the steps you could find so you could see listen um, uh, final practice test one final practice test two uh, final pra uh, let me just go over again so I think I lost it so um, final practice test four the same thing but the last two final practice test is basically the basic algebra based on that so these are the problem came before in the actual test so you have to study those so some of the thing you need to know so let me go the previous one um, is nine practice test nine yeah so this is also uh, the part of the uh, math knowledge stuff so the basic algebra you have to learn so you could see here so this this problem actually came in the actual test many of them um, so if you have any questions so uh, um, just put in the comment below or you could download our application if you could go to um, a shift uh, um, in the app store and search with a shift tutoring you'll see our application download the application and practice and the another important part we have here is uh, ship prediction test so the, this prediction test kind of tells you what might be your score if you go to your recruiter's office and take the test right so let's go uh, one of our student um, took the test multiple times and see how did he do so if you go to our progress report section you could see like 
this is really hard it overall so you kind of know what are the area you need to improve you could see here we, we want like at least 80 percent in order to get a, a decent score um on the your shift exam so let's go in the math um final practice test section and you see this, this is this person how did he do overall they get 90 97 um uh then get uh, 78 all of those and the good part also that you could go back and study the course and you missed okay so um you you know what are the course and uh, what type of course and you have to study so if you need help just let us know we'll be happy to help you and and good luck